Well, hello, Carlton, everybody. Uh, I'm here, Dean Coles, at the front of our hospital. Just gonna show you uh, some options that you might have for a work team. First of all, this area here has been uh, needing a little bit of uh, refab, re doing up at the front of the hospital. A little painting, a little cleaning, but this could be something that uh, you might want to help with, and I'll show you a lot more. Well, as you can see here, one of our really big problems is the road around the hospital is eroding in so many places. And so we could fill these holes with uh, rock, cement, and make it a whole lot better. I'll do a quick uh, tour down the road here, give you some idea of why we need a lot of help. Because the cars can't pass each other, as you can see right now. We have cars trying to go both ways. We have parking over here and uh, motorbikes everywhere. So the whole area just really needs some, some work. Filling things in like this uh, would be great. And you can see the, the gutters are not too good. That whole street has a lot of issues, but I won't take you down there. There's another one here. This leads down to our housing. And so one of our biggest obstacles, just getting to back and forth, is this whole area here. And it needs a culvert, actually, right there. They've never put the drain from here and down here. So it just washes away all this and we keep filling it in. I've done this about three times myself. And it's a little dangerous as well. So you can get an idea that uh, this really needs some help. And of course, over here, people, cars, people fall in here. We might figure something out there. That's how gay. And then a couple of really bad spots here that we really need to fix. And again, this could be filled in pretty easily is things like this, as you can see, heading that way. And there's no tarmac that way, but we that's you know a small road. But there's another big spot here that uh, could use some help. Drainage here, again, is a real problem because the water flows, it should be flowing down there. Um, so anyway, just uh, give you some ideas of what we need. Me and a couple guys put this speed bump here, but also more importantly, for the drainage. We did that a couple of uh, months ago and it's been a big help to keep the drainage going down here. But one of the real big needs is a sidewalk. And this will be kind of a major project, but it's really needed for our staff. It's kind of dangerous, as you can see, walking up this road and it's been eroded away. So we really need a walkway right down here. It doesn't have to be a very wide. And we can't pave the whole street. That's way too much. But we, could, we used to have one here, as you can see. And I've done this one three times myself. But we've kind of patched work. So we could use it uh, for sure down to this spot. It's where most of the folk, a lot of folks live here. So that would be a um, great spot. Hey, how are you? My name is Dr. Angela. I'm a consultant uh, gynecologist at Tenwick Hospital. And I work with Dr. Cheryl. And um, we're hoping that one day, I live actually a few meters from here, just down the road, and you can see how muddy the road is. And we're hoping that the road would be repaired and also to have a sidewalk for people. Amen. And I can say Dr. Angela is wonderful. She's new to our staff. We're having an OBGYN residency program. So I need to make her happy because if she's happy, my <laughs> wife is happy and then I'm happy. So if you make the women happy, the men are happy. <laughs> Amen? Okay. Cars, they come up this road. As you can see, I'm walking with Angela behind me, but, and they, they don't give you room, and then you're off to the side. And when it's really muddy here, it's very slippery. Yeah. And these guys have to go on call. They have to run up to the hospital. My wife fell on this road. You know, you saw her hand. Yeah. She was out, she could not do, not, she could not do surgery for a couple of weeks because of of, uh, of this. Oh, I need to say hi to Pastor Elijah. I am Elijah B. Uh, it's nice to see you and also happy to know that you are planning to do a work project with us. We are going to be happy and uh, we appreciate all the help that uh, we receive from you. Thank you so much. And so this, as you can tell, is very, very difficult and to walk along here. And there's my van taking the <laughs> children to school. That's Kevin, one of our Hello, Kevin! Hi, guys! <laughs> so, we can use a walkway all the way down here. Hey, Franklin, one of our yes, chaplains. Yes, yes. Thank you. By the way, if you come to Kenya, you have to stop and right, say hi to everybody along the path. 
But you can see this is very difficult to walk. And at night, Angela, it's very dangerous. So you guys, it would be so nice that we could put a, part, uh, a nice sidewalk. Now this is the old sidewalk. This is Angela's house here. But even this sidewalk can be, could be redone. But wouldn't that be nice? So all the way up there. Okay, thank you, Angela. Bye, Bye Hattie. Now this one, you guys, goes <laughs> a long way down to where Pastor B. Lee lives. So you can see even um, some patchwork. We may not have to do the whole thing, but things like this and a crew like with you guys, with some men working with you, this could be, we could do this really uh, easily and quickly. And I'm just gonna go walk down this to show you how bad it is. This was done in 1980. So this has been, how many years is that? 40 something years. I graduated in 1980, Carlton, remember? From NNU. So you can see, that's our school behind me. Uh, ringing the bell for class, things like this. I mean, again, it's just not, so I won't walk all the way, but you get the idea. It's, it's a lot of work down there. Well, this is our guest house where our visiting doctors uh, stay. And it looks nice on the outside, but these rooms inside really need a lot of TLC. I don't have the keys to get you inside this morning, but um, they're their apartments, some one bedroom, two bedrooms, actually a three bedroom right up there but they need some painting, some plumbing. If some of you guys are plumbers, electric, electrical work, uh, piping and that kind of thing, showers, but that could be a real help in this area. If any of you are basketball or pickleball players, we have the room to put a pickleball court. Um, we have the nets, we just need lines, uh, official lines for pickleball. So that could be a fun project for whoever, some kids or something. And this is what we call the Kippagenge. It's a meeting place. It's in pretty good shape, but it could use some cleaning and maybe some painting the poles and things like that. But just another thought. Another need is this is where the sidewalk ends and as you can tell, we gotta get over to that sidewalk and it's really hard, it's muddy. So this could be fixed up um, a lot here to help us because people come up the staff gate. And that road has a lot of issues. But one of the big problems we have, and again, for our staff is this sidewalk. Like the other one, this has been, oh, not, repaired for 40 or 50 years, who knows? And so it's dangerous, people fall off here. We need a railing here to keep the motorcycles from uh, coming on people, that's obviously. This is just a really, really big need. Cars are constantly coming up here. Now, 40 years ago, there were no cars at Tenwick, so this wasn't an issue, but over the years, trucks have come and have messed up. So I'm standing kind of at the bottom where our last shot was there. This whole area here has no sidewalk. So we could bring a sidewalk across here to join this sidewalk. And this joins our the other side of the campus, which isn't too bad, that sidewalk there. But as you'll see, as we walk quickly down this road, um, a little more space here, which is good. We have more room to work with. And again, we would wanna put bricks or a poles along here to keep the motorcycles, because when it's all muddy over here, they tend to come over here and obstruct our pedestrians. Now, over the years, I don't know if you can tell, it's slanted. So I'm walking at an angle, which is not good, but we could probably level that out somehow. Obviously build right on top of this concrete. Don't need to tear it up, I don't think, but just level it out as you might be able to tell. It's <laughs> leaning and crumbling quite a bit. So there's, you know, this could be another project. And again, putting some railings here, I think would be really helpful for the kids as well that walk up and down this road. Now this construction stuff will be gone. We're building our wastewater treatment plant right now, uh, just down there. That should be finished by the time you guys are here. Um, so anyway, guys, this is, yeah, part of the projects. Um, I, I, again, have no clue how long these things take, but that would be helpful. Now this sidewalk here is not too bad, but at, while we're here, if we can kind of, clean that up a little bit that'd be nice now along here we haven't put a sidewalk before and I don't think we'll really need it because it's got some nice area here uh, really most of the people walk through that gate to the housing down here so this this I think will be fine down through here but there's always a little touch up like that fence might could use some work so anyway um, that's kind of some of the big bigger things I can think of I don't know what you can do in a week but um, you know, if you get done early with projects, we have lots of others that we can definitely do some painting, things like that, which I'll show you next. The wave of the construction guys as they're going up. And here we are in maternity, a place that's near and dear to my heart, of course, with my dear wife. And let me show you some of the things they need done in here for fix up.
My name is Rose. Welcome to Tenwek. Need, need a lot of tender loving care, yeah. fixing, painting, yeah, everything. All these things. We so are happy. We would love to have yes. these visitors come. Yes, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, by the way, who is the most beautiful doctor in the hospital? Doctor, Doctor Coles. That's right. He's Good the answer. most beautiful doctor. <laughs> <laughs> they know this. Hi, Carlton. This is Cheryl Coles, and um, we are so excited that you guys are planning to come and help us out here at Tinwick Hospital. We're really looking forward to it. And you are, as they say in Kenya, highly welcome, which is uh, Karibu Sana. Hi, I'm Meg Steen. I'm one of the OBGYNs here. Uh, we work really hard taking care of patients. So if you could take care of the little things around, that would be great. The things we trip over, the drawers that don't open, all the small things, that would help us out so much. Thank you for coming. Well, these are just a few things that we need to be done. And I'm looking back over the beautiful part of our country here at beautiful Beaumet. I'm standing at the top of our theater, which is our OR area. So love to have you guys and I'll see you in a few days.